Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. I apologize. I had the screen turned around backwards. I apologize for that. But good morning, good morning, good morning. I hope you are having a grateful Tuesday. Um, the first grateful Tuesday of Mar uh, May. Excuse me, May. The first grateful Tuesday of May. Um, the times are going to be changing just to let you guys know that we won't be con constantly coming on at 10 because some of my guests actually um are in different time zones or they have work um they work so i'm still going to be coming on every hey brown sugar mom granny i'm going to still be coming on every tuesday with grateful tuesday but the times may be adjusted it may not be exactly at 10 a.m in the morning so just to let you know that grateful tuesday still will be here it will be continuing um the platform will still be going on, but the time schedules, the time will be adjusted. So still come on to the page and look for Grateful Tuesday because it will be here every Tuesday um, to be able to give you a little bit of hope to get you throughout your day. So I'm waiting for my girl, Candace Brown. She's going to be my guest today, um, Boss Mom of Boss Mom Empire. And just give her a little, give her a second. She should be joining me very, very shortly. So, there she morning, goes. Andrew. Yeah, good morning, good morning, good morning. How good morning. are you? How are you? I am well. I am well. I was just sharing with them that, the, you know, this is the first Grateful Tuesday of May, and the time may be adjusted depending on the times of the, the availability of the guests. But, guys, we are here. Um, this is my good friend, Candace Brown of Boss Mom um, Empire. And did I say it correctly? Yeah, that's right. Oh, okay. A boss mom empire. And she is actually like uh, my sister friend, my sister in Christ. Yeah. Um, I just love her to life. You know, um, you this, thing started, <laughs> this thing started off as a business relationship, but it has actually transformed into so much more. And for that, I am truly, truly grateful. Um, that's the first thing I'm grateful for on this morning, but I'm going to let Candace introduce herself. My name is Crystal Flowers. I am, um, I, I, I was given this, this platform about two years ago. Um, you know, God wanted me to start sharing with people, giving them a little bit of hope and a little bit of inspiration to get them through their day. Now this was prior to, I, I thought about it the other day. This was even prior to the pandemic, right? It was maybe like six months prior to the pandemic and then the pandemic happened. So it was, uh, it was in line with the direction that he had for my life, being able to help, um, people stay encouraged and be inspired. But this morning, guys, I want to tell you about, um, being able to still stay encouraged because something happened to me yesterday. Candy's been, um, been dealing with some things, but we're going to get into that in a minute. Go ahead, Candy. Um, Introduce yourself. Hey, y'all. Good morning. So first, I want to say, Crystal, thank you for having me on this platform. And you know that uh, I love you back. Um, yes, we're like sisters. So yes, I am the, uh, I, I am, I, I can't even get it out, y'all. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> but yes, I am the CEO of Boss Mom Empire. And um, I'm glad you had me on here. Crystal did a great introduction. <laughs> Y'all got to excuse me. I don't know what's going on here. It's been a minute since I've been on the camera. I was in the house all last week. So maybe that's what it is. Yes, that's what it is. You just, you, you fumble your way through though. We always do. That's right. So guys, I, um, yesterday, um, you know, this platform is about a spirit of gratitude and I'm going to tell you the people that encourage also need encouragement, right? And so yesterday I had things coming at me left and right. I'm going to tell y'all what what transpired for my morning yesterday within an hour's time. I woke up, my air condition that was supposed to be fixed was not working, right? That's number one, I'm hot, <laughs> right? <laughs> so I said, okay, you know what, keep it moving. Mm -hmm. I go to oh, turn on my oven, my oven isn't working, ah! So I said, you know what, this the devil, right? I said some other things, but I, <laughs> I, you know, when you see that attack coming, you just be, you don't even, you don't even trip. I just started smiling. I said, okay. I sat down in my chair and the chair broke. 
Wow. All of these three things happen within the first hour, within a within an hour span time, right? And those things come like that because they come to get you distracted and mm -hmm. to come to get you off purpose. And you have to already be well equipped, right? That's why you got to be ready. You got to stay ready and not get ready. Because when those things come, you got to be able to arm yourself with the word of God. You got to know what... Um, what is happening, right? Because those things, when it happens like that, for all of the month of April, and not to share this to glorify, but for the month of April, I was on a corporate fast, right? And so May is the month of manifestation. May 1st, the month of manifestation. May 2nd, all of this stuff happened, right? <laughs> so you think it to yourself, oh, what in the world? But it's all because you are your destiny your destiny which was destined for you right. is about to excel and this is not a church cliche that i'm sharing with you but i know that i know for myself when things come like that and they come on attack how you move will make a decision on how your next move happens right if i would have got down and out i would have got discouraged i would have been sad those emotions i would have taken on and it would have steered me into another direction, mm -hmm. right? After I got over my first minute, couple of minutes of, um, you know, what the, what in the ham sandwich sausage biscuit is going on? I, I was like, pull yourself together, right? Having a good circle of friends, right? This is very important, guys. You got to make, make sure you know who you are surrounding yourself mm -hmm. in for times like this also. First thing was my friend, Wendy, uh, who's been a good friend for a long time. She called and, and, you know, I was sharing with her and we started laughing about it. Then I got on the phone with Candy and we started saying, you know what? It started praying, talking, yeah. talking about this thing, talking this thing through. So you have to also have a good circle around you. Because when things come to attack you, you don't want that woe is me friend because you yeah. already feel in some kind of way. And then you get somebody else up there and they down on the dumps, too. Yeah. You don't you don't need that. Um, oh, girl, I know it's one thing after the other. <laughs> <Yeah>. it's, always, <laughs> it's always something. Yeah. It's always something that you don't need that. You need somebody to say, girl, keep going, keep moving, keep pushing. It's just an attack. It's just something designed to get you off your track. Keep going. You need a word of encouragement. So I want to encourage you on today with a scripture that actually came on today that um, I do Bible verse of the day. I'm not sure how many of you have Bible gateway, but this was one of the verses that came on today. And I was like, God, this would have been really good for yesterday. But it came today just to, as a reminder, rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulation, continuing steadfastly in prayer. So you want to you want to always stay in a position of hope, be joyful about hope. You want to be making sure that you are patient when these tribulations, these these distractions come. Right. Just being patient or things that are um, coming against you. They come just being patient for the outcome because there's always an outcome. There's an income and there's an outcome. You're always going to be able to come out of it, but it's just a matter of um, timing, right? right? But you're going to you're going to come out. There's always another side, right? Always another side. Right. Nobody can tell me there's not another side. There's always another side to That's whatever true. the situation is that you're going through. Yeah. And then the last thing is being continuously praying, always praying, always being on your post, not just when something has happened, but even prior to them happening. Because if I had not been a position of prayer um, or had not been in that position beforehand, these things would have come against me and it would have taken me down. Right. Yeah. Because when you look at them, all of them cost money, the air conditioner, the stove, the new chair, all of it is attached to money. And when you, a lot of times people get discouraged when they start thinking about money. Mm -hmm. But I know the supplier of my resources, right? I, my, I know the source. So I already know that the supplier is going to be made to meet those needs. Yeah. Right? That's good. So, yeah. So that's why, you know, you got to be already prayed up so you don't get oh my God, this is going to cost me that. That's going to cost me this. This is going to cost me that. You have to just mm -hmm. keep being in a play, a position of going forward. You have to continuously go forward and be grateful, right? Yeah. I don't got the stove. The stove ain't working, but I got an air fryer. 
Yeah. I ain't got the, my AC ain't working, but I got a fan till the man come. Yes. <laughs> it's my AC. <laughs> <laughs> the chair is broke. I'll be able to get, you know, God is setting me in a position to set up and buy another one. So yeah. that is the position that you have to be in a position of gratitude. Um, and even if you don't have the money at the time, just think about ways, solutions to get around it instead of getting in a position of discouragement. Mm -hmm. So that's all I got, Candy. <laughs> wow, that was good. Y'all passed the collection plate. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I want to share this that I got from Denzel Washington um, when I attended the conference this year. He said, when the enemy is not attacking you, that means you're doing something wrong. So, right. When you are doing something right, you know that he's coming for you. Um, and I shared this with you all last week. I had COVID for the second time and I started to get in my feelings about it. You know, like the third day I was like, man, this is blah, blah, blah. And I had to really uh, decide to uh, switch my thoughts and say, hey, you know, mm -hmm. I could be in the hospital on a ventilator. You know, I could, this could be really worse than what it is. I'm able to get up and go to the kitchen. So um, just replacing too, when you have those thoughts, because they're going to come, negative emotions yeah. are going to come. And, you know, like Crystal said, pray. One of my favorite scriptures is Proverbs. I think it's Proverbs uh, 3, 5, and 6. I will trust in the Lord with all my heart. Um, and and lean not to my own. Yeah, I will trust mm -hmm. in the Lord with all my heart. Um, do not lean on my own understanding. Um, I will trust. Okay, y'all get it. I will acknowledge him all my ways, something, something, something. I, I got right. it somewhere, but that's right. I know what you, I know where you're going. Yeah. And they do too. <laughs> yeah, so, um, yeah, I will acknowledge him and he will direct my path. Yeah, that's my scripture. Mm -hmm. So I'm constantly saying that. So when I do start to feel like that too, I start to switch everything with gratitude. And then I really started to feel a little bit better. I was like, okay, you know, maybe God has me here for a reason may have me sitting down for a reason you know maybe i needed the rest maybe i was moving to you know doing too much so when those difficult moments and those storms come do know as crystal stated as well the breakthrough is coming there there's something greater coming out of it it mm -hmm. may be a bad situation but god is going to use you for good so that's right. all i have to say about it Right. Absolutely, guys. So we want to encourage you on this moment. I mean, on today. Um, and, and we're glad for it. Wait a minute. First of all, let me back up. I am grateful, you know, on today that Candy is on the other side of her healing. Right. Yeah. Um, she's on that other side because I told you there's always an outcome. Yeah. And so I'm grateful for that on today. I am grateful for having the relationship. So those are, I'm going to tell you up front, are two things that I am truly grateful for on today because I always encourage you at the end of this to go and be grateful for two things that you are truly grateful for on today and it will make your day that much better. But I also want to do something a little different. I want to pray for someone out there who is feeling so, so, so discouraged, right? And you feel like there is no out, Right? You feel like there is no out. I want to pray for you right now that God will turn it around for you. He will be able to let you be able to see mm -hmm. those things that you are looking for. The things that the doors that the doors will just automatically open. Ways will be made yeah. and you will have peace until those doors are open. All right. Mm -hmm. I pray that for you right now in Jesus name. Yeah. Right. All right. Thank you so much for joining us on today. Um, I was led a little bit different. I'm sorry, guys. But this today, it went a little bit different because this was the way that it was intended to go. Right. right. God, the way God intended it to go. So oh, somebody posted the scripture. Lord, with all your heart, Lord, with all your heart and lean not to your own own understanding in all that ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. Thank you so much. Um, my favorite, trust in the Lord with all your heart. That's the part I meant. Oh, yeah. she said that's her favorite too, Candy. Yes. <laughs> I can't see the comments. Yeah, she said, trust in the Lord. My, She said, that's my favorite. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding. In all thy ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths. So guys, thank you so much. You are so welcome, Brown Sugar. She said, thank you so much. Um, thank you guys for joining us on today. And we... 
pray um, that you will take something that you heard today and take it into your lives. But just remember, focus on two things that you are truly grateful for on today, all day today. Whether it's your ch children's health, you got lights, you got water, whatever it is, focus on that thing. And I promise you, the thing that you don't have will become, it will, it will no longer be relevant. Mm -hmm. Right. Because once you stop focusing on what you don't have and you focus on what you do have, that other thing will not become as as it, I won't say it won't become relevant, but it won't be as big as as a mountain as you think it is. Right. Right. A solution will come. There is always an outcome. So you guys have an absolutely amazing day. Candy, I'm so glad you're getting better. Thank love you. you. Love, love you. Love you. Love y'all. You, you guys have a great day. Toodles. Bye. Bye.